The comments come as the technology community remains under fire following Facebook's data scandal, which now sees several technology executives, including Mark Zuckerberg, uh, being called to testify before Congress. Joining us right now is the cyber guy, Kurt Knudsen. Kurt, good to see you. Thanks for weighing in here. This scandal around Facebook has people scrambling to figure out how to protect their personal data. What can we do? Maria, so, so, so true. Good morning to you. We're talking about also, and how about Tim Cook? Does he not smell like a rose this morning in the manure of Silicon Valley? I think he's just trying to stay out of it. Facebook, though, not so lucky. Things you can do right now with your own devices. Six must-do changes just to rein in a little bit of your privacy. Number one, you can turn off the ability for apps to have access to the data. And I was shocked when I went to my own settings you simply remove the apps on Facebook. I went to my own settings and I saw 74 apps, about half of which I never even remember giving access to my life, and they have it. Also, set alerts so that if your Facebook is logged on at another location or on another device that you're not familiar with, it's gonna let you know. And then disable the Facebook integration. It's so easy to use this where you log on to other websites and instead of putting in all of the form, you just log on with Facebook. But what we now know that we didn't really know very clearly before is that they're using that as a path to, again, share our personal data. So the list goes on, limiting access to the apps that you use, location privacy, turning that off, as well as a history, which is like the breadcrumbs of everywhere you go. And then the number one thing, tell your friends to do these same settings because you're vulnerable to what your friends allow through also. So if they can see what's on your profile, Maria, they're also going to see uh, access to being able to carry that data away and give it to a third-party app. Yeah, I mean, we, we were all doing this ourselves the other day, looking at our apps to try to figure out, you know, what's open and what isn't. You have to go into Facebook, and then there's another area just for the apps, right, Tegan? Right. They, they're trying to basically make uh, changing your privacy settings easier. That was one of the announcements yesterday. But again, it's never been clear. And that's really the whole point is over the years, Facebook has asked you for more and more and more of your personal mm. information, just down to even the most granular detail about where you like went to elementary school. And yeah. what do they do? They slice it and dice it and then let uh, these app developers in to access it. And you really don't know what's going on. That is I so wrong. That it is, is so wrong. wrong. And then so what's the alternative is if you want to delete your entire profile, Kurt, they don't make it that easy either. Your history is so... No one's going to do that. I'm sorry. You know, you got Elon Musk out here in California, big, big drama answering, so I'm removing uh, myself as well as the companies off of Facebook. No one's going to really do that. That's not a practical solution. The practical solution might be taking a look at the leadership at Facebook and saying, by now, after all of these flaws, one after another, and the messes that Facebook has, especially related to personal data... You have Mark Zuckerberg, who always was reluctant to show face. He comes out, he makes this big, grand, corrective gesture, and then you see about a 5% action of what he said would be some spectacular new direction. I'm soft on him. I don't like what the company's done. I think he's a spectacular human being, great leader, love what he built. But I think it needs a grown-up inside of Facebook to watch ourselves. They clearly are not out for our interest. They're out to serve themselves, to grow their platform, and to make money off of average. Yeah, he's not can going he, anywhere. Can, can, can he, he's going to be testifying to Congress. Can he finally settle this in Congress and uh, say, here's what not actually we're doing? Two weeks from now, he's due to show up. There's no way. I'm sorry. Again, that's just going to be theater on his part. And... There's something, you know, very awkward about him in, in, in the public, whether he's on camera or he's at a group. And that's probably why they've kept him and why he's kept himself from being in public forums. He's not the best communicator. Well, there's a, there's so an put Cheryl Sandberg up there. You might have a different story. Testimony. There's a chief operating officer named Cheryl Sandberg, but she's been too busy telling other women how to treat women rather than actually running the company. You mean lead in? Yeah, or whatever it was. Lean whatever. In, lean in. Yeah. Who he message that was. By the way, <laughs> a, as we've spoken before, if he doesn't want to step down, he's not going anyway. He's got full voting control, Steve Forbes. People need to understand that when they, when they buy go. Facebook shares. He's making all the decisions. Kurt, thank but, you. Yeah, his architecture in setting up that was brilliant. He's got control. Apparently. No Kurt Knutson, thank you so much, sir.